I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you with violence. Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, MLK, Malcolm, Kunta Kinti, you know, what the US Caucasian either doesn't know or doesn't appreciate or want to acknowledge, my Caribbean frame does. Because I grew up knowing about these people, knowing about Rosa Parks, um, you know, and I'm still learning stuff. I'm still, honestly, Tulsa. Tulsa was a thing that up until recently, I did not know the full extent. I didn't really know. So I'm still learning stuff. When Barack Obama won, all black people everywhere in the entire world, we won. At least, that's the perception. Cheers and cries because we understood that this was a moment. This was a moment for black people in the US. Because we stand in the fire with black Americans. That's the truth. Strangely though, if you asked the average black American to tell you about Toussaint or Dessalines or Michael Manley or Eric Williams. They don't really know that much. It's, it's not really balanced, is it? If I said Stokely Carmichael, um, how many black Americans could really tell me what his real name was? And therein lies the problem. As much as we are allies and stand in solidarity with Black America, it's not reciprocal. It, it's never really been reciprocal. Which is why I continue to believe that the whole idea of universal Blackness is our crock. I'm not, I'm not talking about Pan-Africanism. I feel like that's, that's something else and we should not discount Pan-Africanism or treat it with scant respect. I'm talking about the idea that we're all one universal brotherhood and what is this? What are we, mutants? No. To the average black American, whether they are wealthy or, or otherwise, the Caribbean, especially the Caribbean, is a getaway. It's the islands, you know, a place to park your troubles, you know, to a temporary reprieve from the racist horrors of your everyday life. No, you know, you go to the Caribbean, you dance to dance with your family, you go to a party in Lyme and eat some roti with, you know, the bread with the peas in it, as one actress said, whom I actually quite love. That's what we are to them. It's sun and sea and fun and, and that kind of life. But the struggles and the histories, no, no, it's, it's, it's not known or understood. This is where you say to me, oh, I, you know, we're all Africans. I'm sorry. That's kind of convenient. First of all, Africa is a continent. So are we talking about West Africa? Are we talking about North Africa? Are we talking about South Africa? What, what, what? Secondly, I've seen, you know, <laughs> I've seen black Americans talk about how black in the Caribbean is not really black, like African black, but it's more like we're black Indians, descendant of, of, of Amerindians, that kind of stuff. So even then, our histories are lessened in their eyes. Of course, what should I expect from people who think that, you know, Oshun begins and ends with Beyonce? And I, and I, and I, I, I grant you, these are things that a ministry of tourism should um, get on to sort of educate the world. But the reality of the situation is, if I know so much about your cultures, why can't you invest in the things that make me happy? The caucasity is strong, and, and that's the sad part. You expect Caucasians the world over to have some pretty wonky views when it comes to the black experience, and especially, you know, of the Caribbean. But your own, your own black people starting to play up, sheesh. Which brings us back to here. I mean, juve as a rum is not really the issue, is it? It's probably very tasty, and when Solera or Naughty Grape inevitably brings it down here, I will be there. 
with a bottle of rum. But for me, the deeper issue here is that this scene, this particular scene, confirms what I've always believed. Our investment in Black American culture is not balanced. And you know, the Black experience in Britain is not exactly the same. Heck, the experiences right here in this Trinidad and Tobago is not the same. I might even be considered a hypocrite given my proclivities in my, my family line. And I feel like there is a difference between being invested in someone's culture and throwing a bone your way. Juve may be a bone. I could be wrong. I'm not angry at Michael. I'm, I really am not. I'm not angry at Michael. You do you, bro. He'll probably go and do some more research so that he can become one with the culture or whatever. I don't know, whatever nonsense the PR team comes out with. But you see this whole universal blackness and brotherhood, like we like to peddle it. That thing that eclipses the reality of the differences we have. Nah. I slap you. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you with violence.